Hello everyone, teacher Jonas here and today we're gonna learn more about addition. But before we get to that, let's review what we have learned so far. So let's see about addition one and two's review. As you remember, we learned that addition has three syllables. Addition. 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 So when we say addition, we have to say it correctly. We cannot say addition. No. <laughs> it's addition. Addition. So we know that addition has plus plus and equals equals and look at here we can read this now two plus two equals four super easy we call these numbers addend and we call the last the answer we call it sum so we have two addends and one sum we can have more than two addends too we'll get to that later Look at this number, 33 plus 21 equals, we don't know, we have to write it in the columns form if we cannot do it in our head. Columns form is like this, we start with 33, right, plus 21. This is the ones, this is the tens, remember? Three plus one equals four. Now we go to the tens column, three plus two equals four five super easy 54 let's do another one 866 plus 265 oh my god equals let's see again we write it in the column form before we get to that let's see this is eight hundreds six tens which is 60 and six ones two hundreds six tenths 60 and five ones so as you remember we start with the ones six plus five like this now we cannot just say oh we have to write 11 here no 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 we regroup what is regroup we regroup 10 ones as 110 and we put it up here and we keep this one boop, we put it down there like this this is called regroup 10 ones into 110. Boop. We bring it in the tens column and we keep the one down here because it's 11. Now we have to do the tens. We have three addends. One plus six plus six. Hmm. One plus six is seven. Seven plus six is 13. Uh oh. What did we do? We have 13 tens we group 10 tens into 100 like this and we still have three tens left so we write these three here in the tens and we bring this 100 up here like this Ding. see three and one now we have to do hundreds one plus eight plus two super easy 11 now we don't have any number to give it to right so we say 1000 and 100 now what do we do with this we write it in the correct column see this is hundreds this is thousands so 1131 now when you write it don't forget to write comma right here between thousand and hundred. So, eight hundred sixty-six plus two hundred sixty-five equals one thousand one hundred thirty-one. Ha! Good job. So let's learn about addition word problem. Now, what is word problem? Word problem is basically story word problem means story now this is a math story let me show you <clears throat> you help your sister make 36 cupcakes oh i love cupcakes they're super yummy 
she makes 48 cupcakes more. Wow. So I made 36. She made 48. Hmm. How many cupcakes do you have in total? So how many do we have together? Okay, guys, look at here. Step one, read the question. Hey, we read the question already, right? We read the story. We read the addition word problem. Hmm. So we are done with number one. Step one is finished. But let's read it one more time so we can understand what's happening. You help your sister make 36 cupcakes. Okay, 36 cupcakes, me. She makes 48 cupcakes more. Okay, so 48 cupcakes she made and 36 I made. So how many do we make together? Now, step two is that you have to underline the key words. <clears throat> These are the key words. Add, it comes from addition, more, oh, we have more. Oh, let's underline it already. Let me do it. More, and, and, increase, increase means add. In all, oh, in all, in total, some, all together these all mean the same thing it means all together in all in total some all together they mean the same mangan same same and lastly how many blah 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 oh we have to underline this too hey we have it how many cupcakes yeah underline wait there must be something more oh in total <clears throat> Also, guys, you always have to underline the numbers and the name in front of the numbers. So, look at here. 36, the number, and the name in front of it. Cupcakes. Okay. Oh, 48. 48 cupcakes. Finished. We underlined everything. Let's go to step three. Write the equation. What is the equation? Remember, 2 plus 2 equals 4. That is equation. So, let's go. Oh, guys, we are correct with underlining. See? Yeah, good job. Now, we write the equation. 36 cupcakes plus 48 cupcakes equals how many cupcakes? Hmm. Let's do column form. 36 plus 48. Let's add the ones together. 6 plus 8 equals 14. Yes. Now, we keep the 4 and the 10 up here. So now we add 1 plus 3 equals 4. 4 plus 4 equals 8. So we have the answer. 84. Oh, guys, we cannot just write 84. We have to write full answer in your worksheet you have to write full answer not like this okay you have to write 84 cupcakes remember how many cupcakes 84 cupcakes this is always same as this the word that comes after how many you write it in front of the sum Okay, let's do more example. Great job until now. Let's do another one. Oh, okay. Let's read this. Step one. Read the question. Okay. It's your birthday. Oh, happy birthday. You get 22 gifts from your school friends. Ooh, very good school friends. And 17 gifts from your family. Oh, so kind. How many gifts did you get all together? Okay, 22 gifts from my school friends and 17 gifts from my family. Hmm. Okay, let's go to step two. We have to underline. So, let's, uh, okay, let's, let's underline numbers. 22 gifts and 17 
gifts also okay let's see which other number do oh and we have and oh how many gifts yes <clears throat> we also have oh all together do we have anything else no let's see oh we are correct good job now let's go to step three write the equation and full answer so 22 plus 17 it's sometimes hard to do it like this so we can write it like this let's start with the ones 2 plus 7 equals 9 easy 2 plus 1 equals 3 so this was very easy because we didn't have to regroup so the answer is 39 remember 39 gifts see gifts how many gifts it's the same okay let's go to another one let's go you have two friends okay two okay should i underline two friends let's read Anne and jane okay they baked cookies oh i love cookies for the bake sale okay so they want to sell their cookies they want to make money and baked 134 cookies wow and jane baked 223 cookies so many hmm how many cookies did Anne and jane bake in all okay guys let's read it one more time and this time understand what we have to do you have two friends so now we know we don't need to underline two now remember guys the numbers are not always digits sometimes there are words like t w o like two so be careful Anne and jane they baked cookies for the bake sale okay i don't care this is not important not important at all i only care about this and baked 134 cookies and jane baked 223 cookies this is what's important to me because the question asked me how many cookies all right and all right let's see all right guys now let's underline the keywords mm, oh 134 cookies and yeah we have and uh 223 cookies <clears throat> what do we see here how oh how many cookies now let's see do we have any of these ones do we have in all in total some alt oh we have in all zip let's see are we correct or not yes we are good job everyone now we have to write the equation let's write the equation together boom now guys this time we're not gonna write in the column form because i think you are so smart you can do it in your head look at here 134 plus 223 it's super easy we start from the ones four plus three equals seven right no regroup we go three plus two equals hmm oh five one plus two what is one plus two guys help me five no one plus two three yes three so the answer is 357 right yes you are correct but don't forget you have to write something here what do we have to write i don't know look at how many how many cookies so you have to write cookies here boom 357 cookies great job guys so when you want to do 
uh, addition word problem. Step one. Read the question carefully. Read the story. Step two. Underline the keywords, especially how many blah, blah, blah. You have to underline this. Very important. Step three. Write the equation. This is the equation. And write the full answer. Don't forget this part. Okay, it's very important. So, I am proud of you, okay? Keep doing what you're doing. It's good. Good job. Until next time, Teacher Jonas out. Bye-bye, everyone. See you.